my God, you're precious. You're the most precious thing I've ever seen in my entire. Oh my God, there's a two. You have a friend. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Are you being so good? Are you, are you being so good? This is the best thing ever. Hi, it's Simu Liu, and I'm here with BuzzFeed to answer your questions while playing with puppies, which is crazy. How is that even a thing that you do? Anyway, bring them. Oh my God, I can hear them. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm happy to answer your question in just one sec. Oh, he's going to, okay. Okay, so there's the one scene. This one's name is Minnie. The scene, oh hello, on the airplane. We were in the airplane and then I was trying to explain to her how to pronounce my name. It was that one. And Nora's very funny. We had lots of long takes where we were we were improvising and and it was really great and she's a comedic genius and what's your name? Where do these puppies come from? I have so many questions. My favorite memory working with Michelle is that she loves to dance in between. Oh my god. She loves to like dance in between takes. She's honestly such a such a goofball in real life. I feel like she plays a lot of these really like kind of frigid, intimidating characters and oh hello. Oh hello. Just how like fun she is and goofy and warm. So I think that's that's definitely my favorite part of working with her. And and also how much she loves like getting people together for group dinners. Because I know that's something that I love doing too. I would love to interact with Korg from Thor Ragnarok. Or like <laughs> you know, one of the ones that don't get a lot of love. Oh my god. Oh my god. A character that doesn't have their own their own movie. It'd be like adopting. It'd be like adopting a Marvel character. Much like all of these dogs are available for adoption. Are they not? Are they not? Can you come home with me? It was a crazy, crazy whirlwind. I feel like Oh my God, I feel like I just didn't get any sleep, but in the best possible way. It was just, it was so incredibly overwhelming, but also really educational. Everyone on that cast is so, like, so incredibly funny. It was like a master class. It was a master class in comedy. It was a master class in comedy, puppy. I forgot the question. I feel like it was, that's my shoelace. That's my shoe, hey you. The first um, movie or TV character that I saw, I saw, probably like the Yellow Ranger in the original Power Rangers, which, you know, ow, 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 that's my shin and my shoelace. You know, it wasn't, it, it wasn't subtle. It was like the early 90s version of um, diversity. It was like the Yellow Ranger was Asian. It was pretty cool. I remember how that made me feel, it, it, it kind of, just sent a jolt of electricity through me, seeing that for the first time, and um, it kind of means the word. <laughs> That's not a snack. That's my shoe. You're silly. You're silly. It's a tremendous honor just because we didn't have a lot of that representation when I was when I was younger. So to see kids dressing up as Shang Chi for Halloween, being fans, and 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 seeing themselves reflected in. In, in that way, I think is, is extremely meaningful and everyone should have a dog. You're silly, you're silly. I did every stunt that I could have. I, I fought for a lot. I think a lot of producers on our movie were very protective of me, which you know I, I really appreciated. I really wanted to put my best foot forward. I wanted to take ownership over the the, the physicality uh, and, and the movement of the character. And so <laughs> I fought to do as much as I could. I would say at the end, probably like 70, 75% of the stunts. I was kind of like an on again, off again stunt man working in Toronto before then, um, in addition to acting. And, and I was kind of like a substitute stunt man. That's my shoe. You're so silly. That's my shoe. Look at all these toys. Isn't it funny that dogs always pick the, the one thing that's like not a toy? <laughs> and they just fixate on that. Those are shoes, you silly gooses. You silly goose. I, 
I got to take his Jordans. Oh God, oh, ow, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, those are very teethy. There's a lot of teeth in that kiss. I took some shirts. I didn't take the costume. The costume itself is, it comes in like three pieces. It's actually really, really difficult to, to put on and impossible to do by yourself. So it wouldn't have done me any good to, to take it home. But at some point I'll have the version that's easier to put on. Whoa, 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 guys, guys, play nice. What? That's like asking me which one of these beautiful little creatures I like the most. You can't do that. You love them all equally. They're all equally strong. Isn't that right? Oh, that's still my shoelace though. We cannot give these back. Okay, let me just tie these up real quick. My answer is no answer. I don't think any, oh, oh, hello. I can't choose. I think, I think all of them are equally powerful. I will say, Wanda, I think, is the only one that can like mess with reality. Maybe she might have a slight edge just because of that. What do you think? What do you think, baby? I am so scratched up all over. But it's okay. Love Island? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's not true. The Bachelor? Also kidding. Maybe Succession, maybe Stranger Things. Thor Ragnarok. My favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie is, is Thor Ragnarok. I would love to play Spider-Man. I used to play Spider-Man at kids' birthday parties, and nobody ever believed that I was Spider-Man, so I feel like, I feel like that'd, be, that'd be a good one. Oh my god, oh my god, so many. Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Meryl Streep. Denzel Washington, Michael B. Jordan, Steven Yeun, right? Aren't those good actors? Didn't I choose good actors? My favorite episode of Kim's Convenience is, is when I visit Uppa in the hospital. It's the first time that we've seen each other in such a long time, and we have this like really awesome moment. I remember shooting the scene with Paul Sun Hyun Lee, who plays Uppa, and um, it was just so emotional. It's such an emotional moment for the both of us. Wasn't it a fun show? I really love this place, Fishman Lobster Clubhouse. It's about 30 ah. minutes out of the city. Oh my god. I think she's following us. Oh no, you're still like... Ah. What's going on? Ah. What's going on? Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playtime's getting a little rough over here, guys. You get these massive towers of lobster drizzled ah. in like black bean sauce or like stir fried with ginger scallion. Really, oh, in my opinion, the best way to have lobster. And um, and there's no restaurant that does it quite like fish. <laughs> Guys, ow, oh, ooh, that's a nibble. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's a hand. That's a hand, my love. Whoa, man, uh, One True Loves is is, a, is an amazing novel written by the incredible Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I was lucky enough to play the character of Sam. It was just such an incredible experience. I really got to delve into the character of Sam, and what I really love about him is is his kindness. There's a, there's a kindness and a generosity to him that I don't think you see very often in, in romantic leads in movies. I think a lot of times, you know, the male lead is like this really aggressive guy, or he'll he'll make this like grand gesture, and 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 the you know the women are always like, oh my god, you know. But I think what Sam does that nobody else that is really special about him is that he listens. I remember the the one thing I did was I slid over the top of the bus, I swung around the side, and I I smashed into the door. But we got that in like a few takes. I would say like the hardest thing for me to do was trying to manipulate the rings and the rings weren't actually there. So I had to like try to, fo imagine trying to focus on points in space that like were just not there. So they're like, okay, the rings are in front of you and now they're moving around. And it's just like weird because your eyes can't focus on something that's not tactile. But somehow, somehow we found a way in the end. We found a way, didn't we guys? My go-to karaoke song is probably Aladdin. It's probably, oh, you want me to, what's, you want me to sing it? You want me to sing it to you? I can show you the world. Oh, shining shimmer rings blended. Tell me, princess, that when did you, you're biting my face off. Ouch. We were asked to give a list of our, of our go-tos and, and not all of them made it, but, but thankfully that one did. 
My parents make the best dumplings in the world, period. Ow, no argument. It just, it's just true. I've had a lot of dumplings from a lot of different places. And my parents are the best. They have the best ones. My favorite fan story is uh, I was shooting a movie in the Dominican Republic. I met one of the dog extras that were on set and then I fell in love and then I took her home with me. I took her home, like someone's gonna take you home. It's true. Probably Superman. I just love the idea that he was kind of like an immigrant in a way. Like even though he was he was living among among humans, like he wasn't really from there, and he was constantly having to, you know, in some ways hide who he really was. I just I, I think I related to that. Oh my god, this has been absolute torture. No, it hasn't. This is the best. Can you all come home with me? You want to meet Chopa? Mm -hmm.